Hello, greetings, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. It is Saturday, November 21st. It is time for my regular weekly stream with some live folks. Um, I give about 10, 15 minutes for them to come in, so you may want to fast forward if you don't want to uh, participate or listen to the chitter chatter if you're watching the recording. And let's see, we have Judy here who's going to be popping in now. She's lurking. Hi, my sissy poo. And Candy, hi, love. Hello, hello, ladies. And all those up in the clouds. All my wallflowers up there. How are you doing? How is everyone today? Hubby's occupied. There, um, our our husbands, our and, and significant others and boyfriends and that when you reside in the same home, of course if you're married, I hope you're residing in the same home. Um, they're like children, so you have to give them something to occupy them, so you can get something done. Pookie probably won't be joining us today. If she does, she'll be in and out. Um, she is uh, still sitting by the phone and uh, waiting for the vet to call. So she's dealing with some stuff. for the moment. <laughs> uh, I, I seriously need to clean this tabletop when I'm done today. Yeah, yeah. So I can get it nice and cleaned up. It's got yuckos upon yuckos on it. How's the uh, weather in Cali, Gila? What's going on, my friend? You thought what was the dog? <laughs> I, I think I lost something in translation. I think I need to come over just one more tad here. Yeah. Gigs! Hi, love! I know today you're going to really like um, today's cart. I just know it. I just know it. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, you got really nice weather? Well, you suck. I'm just saying. I mean, you could have lied to me. You could have lied and said, it's terrible. We got rain or something. I mean, you know. Try out which one I which one I like. This is a prototype, not the real deal. Just saying. You know, they're rounded, so is that gonna give me? I don't know. Let's see how this one looks on there. Yeah, very true. I, uh, yeah, I, I don't remember sometimes when I said things, but it was it's no intention to. But uh, yeah, I'm the worst kind of liar. Um, I don't. I try not to lie. About I, well, I don't lie about important stuff, and I don't mean to um, uh, fib about you know unless I'm kidding about something is my point is my meaning um, but I also have fiber brain and sometimes it I forget things so is it is, is for, it, when you forget things you've done or said does that make you a liar too because you have an illness okay I think I'm gonna use this let's see Liars, cheaters, and um, abusers are really just not up my ballpark. Ooh, shite. Let me get something. What should I How? I wonder. Hmm. Let's get something to put on this. Here. I just want to see how this will look. Cause I think I want to put a border around like this. border on before we uh, I don't know this makes me forgetful well I ask because <laughs> you know uh, yeah uh, let's just say it caused an issue with some peeps way early back in like January um, and I forgot something I had said in a video not that it mattered because my opinion is my own um, but needless to say it caused um, a lot of friction because I had forgot I had said something not that it mattered anyway because you know this is my show and I can support whatever products I want and it doesn't matter my opinion is my own and you know who are you to tell me that my opinion should be different um, Let's see how I can incorporate that. Um, so, but I forgot. I and I thought so. I when it, when it first came up, I said I didn't say that. Well, then I went back through the video, and the first part when I was talking about whatever I was talking about, I didn't say it. But then way towards the end of the video, like way towards the end of the video, I did say what I thought I didn't say. So you know, I'm just I was just wondering if you know. Yeah. 
but yeah, I don't lie, I don't cheat, I don't steal, and I don't, uh, I, uh, I don't put up with abusive behavior by anybody. Those are my four pet peeves, I would say. All right, so maybe we'll, I don't know. I may not be able to get what I want, but maybe. I might have to do, oh, I can do a smaller oval and use that as the, the protector. Okay, that's what we'll do. Again, this is a prototype. It got. It was going to be a, a, a real card. Well, it is a real card, but I tore it, so it cannot go out of the studio. So that is why I didn't mind stamping on it. And I think I'm going to cut that off. That flower, make the flower a little bit smaller. Not make the stem black. I think I'm going to stick with the. The sepia ink from my friend Hila that I used. Let me get my bottle down. Where is my where is my ink? Hello. Oh, there you are. Oh, I need to get another piece of watercolor paper. My humble ab abode. How are you? How are you uh, faring over there on your end? Oh, I should get some water too. So I have at least one clean thing of water. Not that I need a whole lot. Good, good to hear it. Good to see you. Good to have you here today. Hopefully the girls and I can uh, keep you company this afternoon. Well, we're 18 minutes in. People are just late. So, Christine! They're still funneling in, <laughs> which is great. You guys are going to love today's project. You're already starting. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna get started. Um, let's. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do what I did earlier. I draw. I drew first. Let's get that out of the way. Quick little um, sketchy doodling. A little bit of watercolor, and then. Um, We will move on to the next step. This this is actually really easy, um, and you can do some or all of the steps. Um, there's just a lot of little steps, um, but they don't really take that long. So, uh, yeah, I actually have an acoustic plate in that. I have um, I, I did a few pieces a um, few years back. Um, I haven't done it in a while, um, so I thought I'd pull it out 
and um, we're going to be making some faux vellum. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. That's what we're going to do. So hold on to your pants, ladies. Hold on to your pants. And you guys might remember some of these uh, doodles of mine. I don't want this real big because um, this is the prototype that we're going to follow. So I want to make sure that I'm staying within um, the, the kind of uh, size um, for the card. All right. So always uh, take that into consideration when you're when you're drawing that um, you uh, take account for the card okay and I know I only want the five um, so I'm going to go ahead and just And I skipped um, a couple steps along the way uh, in this uh, card uh, because I was trying to get it done uh, this morning bef uh, so I could do uh, uh, a thumbnail. Um, so we will incorporate those. Daddy! Hi, love! How you feeling? You feeling better? I know you weren't feeling so great the other day. Yeah, she's going to be in and out, and uh, Pookie won't be here today, most likely. If she is, she'll be uh, watching back in the, she'll be a wallflower as well. Um, she's still uh, dealing with Grace. Oh, good, Dottie. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it, that you're um, feeling better. That's a pudgy little leaf, ain't it? That's okay. You're not going to. I'm not going to knock my leaves, you know. It. I didn't do that earlier, but I, did, oh, I put my hand in it. Y'all didn't tell me I was putting my hand in it. Uh, I have to redo our... Oh, actually, I'm going to keep that brown there. We'll see what it looks like when I go to add the little bit of color that I'm at. I'm not really adding a whole lot of color. I'm just dabbing color on these, really. Um, we'll see what it looks like uh, when I go to add a little bit of color. If it's not practically perfect, then, you know, I won't be happy, so. I mean, perfection in my eyes is, you know. To be very well different than what everybody else sees. But I have to be happy with it because it's going out to someone. Your caps, <laughs> well, that's all right. You can yell at me all day long, Dottie. Yeah. Uh, but normally I turn the, uh, uh, and I was, but I apparently I put my pinky finger, but that's okay. I don't mind the, the brown dots being a little bit blurred. Um, the thing is, is, oh, you know what? Before I let that dry for too long, let's see if my little magic eraser thing, Speak, 
I just see I see a little spot on there that's not uh, on the leaf. So I'm going to try to. Yeah, no, but I have more. I have more plans uh, to bring in a, a little bit more encaustic work. I don't do full blown encaustic. Um, like I said, I did some pieces a while back, but I have plans to bring it into um, the crafting stuff that we're going to be doing. Uh, the handcraft. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, these are these are good to have in the studio. I'm just saying. All right. Um, yeah, it's not all the way gone, but it's mostly gone. Let me see something. And I'm not sure I'm not I'm not sure I'm liking that one anyway, because I kind of gave it too too large of a space. So hard on yourself, Shauna. It's a handmade card. I'm going to do the long ones on the bottom, but I am going to give it some stuff on the petal. I don't mind that it's a little dark. Give it some personality there. much personality but that's okay just make them all have a little bit of personality that's fine I can deal with that let's see let's um, round that out there I think I like that much better than the, the first go. Beep. Don't break. Alright, so that's about the extent of my drawing for the day. So, put that up so I don't break either the pen or the glass jar. Belinda! Hi, dear! On purpose and send to someone <laughs> I you know but but, that, but then I also I was testing out um, some stamping before everybody got you know as people were coming into the room to see if I wanted to give it some more like lacy stuff uh, and I do so uh, we're gonna get to that next but let me quickly give these a little bit of color uh, this is our, our <coughs> <coughs> Pro, uh, prototype sample that you guys see in the thumbnail. Um, so we're working off of that as our inspiration. Um,
yeah see that th this ink will just give to the vintage feel uh, which is fine so I'm fine with that <clears throat> and I'm I basically I'm just using the, the the whatever mixed colors I have here in my in my palette um, I'm not taking anything fresh so whatever greens and um, except for the brown I had to add that in because I didn't have any of that in my palette but I'm just kind of this is how I, I use that paint but it, sometimes this this at the, this mix that you get um, in your wells can sometimes be the prettiest color and like for vintage I love it so that's what we're doing I see that card from prototype as a printed bathing suit Betty <laughs> Boop. Uh, oh shoot. I can Okay, I'll do that after I'm really just not having very good luck with this one right now. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I like that. I like that. I love the the sepia mixed um, when when it comes to like leaves and stuff, I just I really have a I really gravitate towards that. Um, and it wouldn't matter if it was purple, blue, green, whatever. I just love how sepia mixes, especially if I'm looking for a vintage, um, a vintage uh, vibe. And I'm really just wetting these and dabbing in some color, and then coming back and just kind of dabbing up some color or you know to kind of get that mix and the, and the water gets the sepia color going and it wets the petal and allows me to have it wet for my purposes of dabbing in some color Yes, I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking it a lot. Are you, am I down close enough? Um, um, or do I need to come down closer? Am I not? Uh, you know, and that, cards are kind of funny because they're they're smaller territory. So you guys make sure you speak up if you need more light, or if you move to uh, come in closer. You know, whatever the deal. Just, just you know. Don't be afraid to speak up. Oh, thank you, Christine. Yeah, I thought I, you guys remember these from when I, from way back in, uh, what, March, when I started my my uh saga into bringing back more drawing and stuff to the channel and uh, yeah so these probably look familiar to most of you if not all of you Oh, I love that. Love that. Love that. I'm definitely a sepia lover, for sure. And, um, well, I'll come back and do that later. All right. So then, and then I chose uh, the Kaput Mortem for uh, my brown. Another favorite color of mine. And I didn't cover the leaves entirely. I just kind of bring in a little bit of shadow. And when you spread the Caput Mortem or the Round River Violet out, you get a little hint of purple. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that in those leaves right there. 
um, but when that color gets um, you know washed out you get to see a little bit of a hint of that purple coloring in it um, which really pretty I think so again I'm just gonna go around Get a little bit of color dab it in places not everywhere just in a few places Saturday. Good to see everybody coming in. Hope I'm not missing anybody. I gotta clean up on both of these. I'm just not doing very well. I did better very earlier. <laughs> there we go. Kind of actually like the fuzzy around them. Okay. There you go. See the you can see a little hint of purple, I think. I need glasses on so I make sure I'm tilting it right. You guys can see the, the color in there. There you go. Yeah. A little bit there. i got to fix that one spot there, but that's okay. We'll move on. How are you, dear? How's, uh, did you finish the move? Eep. Ooh, that was close. to this. Slightly. Here we go. Yay! And you're 
backpacking. That's awesome. Good to hear it. Hello to everyone coming in that's up there uh, on the wall, my wallflowers. I hope everyone is well. As, and all those watching the recording later, happy Saturday. Love and hugs to all my friends and any new friends that come along the way. Yeah, we're going to, we, we got a few things to do today. We are going to do some sewing. We are going to do some collaging. We're going to do some encaustic. We're just going to run the gambit on this, this card today. Uh, hold on to your pants, people. Like a mat. I'm liking it a lot. And Pookie, if you're watching, dear, hugs and love. Um, if everybody will uh, keep. Uh, Pookie and her grace, her cat grace, um, and their thoughts and prayers today, along with uh, extra prayers for a friend of uh, cats. Um, I can't divulge information, but uh, prayers are greatly appreciated um, today for her. I would really be happy if you all can keep them in your prayers for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll set this over. Actually, you know what? Um, do I want to do that? You know what? Let's let this dry a second so I can clear up those two pieces. Let's move on to the collage. You guys remember my bucket of stuff? We're going to be using some uh, overcuts today. Yeah, my bucket of scraps is what I pulled from today. Um, what do I, oh, let me get. We're doing some re uh, just regular dry collaging today. Not uh, and I'm not being precise about the well cutting them somewhat square rectangleish would be good. Um, we're building a patchwork quilt of sorts. The reason why I call it dry collage because I'm not uh, do I'm not doing an overcoat of collage. This is strictly to make a background that we're going to print. I'm going to make a print of it after if I put everything down. I've got several pieces to work with here that I pulled out that I were thought had a vintage aesthetics uh yeah to help with the the look of vintage and i'm just using some uh quick dry glue my nuvo which i like i really like that glue and i'm overlapping the pieces so we can get that patchwork quilt um uh, as well, I don't know if we're going to use that piece, but let's, let's uh, nope, 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 not that one. Let's do this. No, yeah, let's do this one. Get 
and there really is no like set rhyme or reason I'm just I'm just picking a piece and if it looks good I'm putting it down Uh, yes, of sorts. I I don't have the uh, I, don't, I don't I have the pieces somewhere in my in my my stuff. Um, I did some uh, I've done some encaustic stuff before, but I've also done caustic on paper, which we're gonna like I said we're doing uh, encaustic on paper of sorts. I'm gonna show you um, that it was. Um, one of my newest uh, uh, YouTube uh, uh, inspirations reminded me um, Gina from Firefly Studio um, had done it in one of her, her videos. It's, it's, it's different, it's slightly different, uh, but same concept. Um, so I'm like, oh yeah, I, you know, and I had encaustic in my, you guys know my, this, which I've had for two years. I had encaustic wrote, written in there for a while now. I just haven't been able to uh, bring it to the table and now we're kind of bringing it to the table. So... We are going to do some encaustics of sorts. If you've seen my video um, from the other day, from the other night, Thursday, I referred to fi five new YouTube, not, well, one, Nick the Booksmith, like I said, I've been following for a while now, um, but I, I did some um, uh, in spot, in spot, in spot, what do you, uh, people who have been inspiring me recently, um, and Gina is one of them from the Firefly Studio 67, uh, along with uh, Angela Kerr, Nick the Booksmith, and their channels are listed in the description box for, in that video. Because, um, yeah, they have been inspiring me, and uh, I can't. Can't tell you how much I needed. The, I needed. They were. They. They have helped. Helped me, inspiration-wise, of recent. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, that's crooked. Can't have it too crooked. So if you're looking for some new channels, if you don't already follow them, um, like I said, um, go to the description box. I put their channels in the uh, box of that video so you guys could uh, refer there and look them up. Yeah, Nick the Booksmith, like I said, it's been, I, I, I subscribed to her a couple months ago. Um, Angela, Angela Kerr and Gina um, and um, 
one of the other gals that's on there, uh, they, they're more recent. Um, I've been listening to them while I've been um, creating, uh, been working on this project in the background because I really haven't been able to do a lot of watching. Um, I get, I usually watch about an hour at night <laughs> when I go to bed because <laughs> I'm, you know, been busy, you know, working on the project and um, so, but I, I can just sit and listen to to them all day long um i learned i not really that i really learned a lot and it's not like stuff that i wouldn't have figured out or whatever but they just you know sometimes it's, it's not that you need to know something or learn something it's just some you need that uh spark of inspiration to get you going you know is the kind of deal um and um i needed some inspiration and so i did and so they are great. Um, they see, they seem very nice. I don't. I mean, I've never talked to either one of them, but uh, they seem like awesome, awesome ladies. I'll make that break. On, on both, Deb, um, that, yeah, and if you'll go and grab the links for the, the five of them, that would be fantastic. Um, like I said, it's Nick, Nick the Booksmith, Angela Kerr, Gina from the Firefly Studio 67, and um, uh, actually, and I have, I, I think I still have their, there's, there's five, just go, just, it's over there in the description box. <laughs> I can't remember the other two gals offhand because my brain is on this right now. But we need something else. I need some more of this. I need some more of this. Um, the photo of this, uh, of my both of my my earlier collage, which I have, and this one, um, will be made available to my uh, patrons, aka members, aka. Uh, friends uh in the uh, my community members um but uh gig you will get um i still have to email you and julie um and debbie as well um need to pick out from my collage packs um from my older set unless you guys just want me to throw one over to you um I need to, um, so I can email you guys. I've had Giggs' email for a while. I just haven't done it yet. It's been, you know, she forgives me. Not that it, she's, you know, like I said, I, I'll probably hold the contest maybe in January. Um, something like that. That, that, uh, putting that there kind of hampered my that spot because I kind of need it to be long ways now uh, oh text let me do another text piece I could get away with that yeah I can get away with that let's um yeah let's do let's do another text piece I don't mind unless I do I want to do two pieces I want to bring one down doesn't matter how far I go really oh, let's just bring one down find something else to put um, on the other one too and I'll put a square over there and that'll finish it off not really worried about this edge over here we won't need that much um, cause it's only a five by seven card size. Thank you, Deb. Yeah. If you guys, if, 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 not now, but after this video, if you guys want to check out that uh, video in this, the description box, um, you'll find the links for the five different ladies that, uh, I'm, uh, talking about. I need something. I need something square. I need something square. Something square. 
Wow. Nope, that's the same paper. I don't want to use that. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, wait, this might do it. Oh, yes. That's ah, purple, though. Mm. This is our card base. Nope, that's... Okay, I need something... Something, something. I don't know what, but I need something. Oh, maybe too bright. Oh, maybe that. Oh, that could do it. Just a little bit of that. Oh, you're not wide enough. Darn you. Darn you. Paper, darn you. Let me get, I'll get those out of the way in a minute. I better remember to start uh, making proper piles. Which way do I want it? Which way do I want it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Get out my good bits. My usable bits. That doesn't have anything on it. This is still a usable bit. I am scrapping the scraps now, guys. Keep your scraps. We're going to be doing lots of things with scraps. Even the littlest pieces. I got to make proper containers because this one is not really. It, you know, it was fine when I was just going to do, do like junk journaling. I mean, um, junk journaling. <sighs> junk. Journal pages using scraps in the background, but now that I'm going to be using them in the foreground, that's not going to work for me so much. All right. Okay. Let me make a copy of this. Oh, let me plug the uh, my iron in too. Yep. Plug the iron in. I made earlier. Again, these two collages, I will make them uh, available um, come on, to my members along with a few other pieces. And I'm going to um, like package, package up like maybe two uh, bulk uh, jelly plate paper packages to put in my Etsy. So be on the lookout for that. Why aren't you working? Hello. Thank you. Hang on. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Yeah, I like this one. This one came out really good. Um, you will see these. You will see these in future projects for sure. Um, These are my master boards. Let me put those. Where did I put the other? I don't know. Okay, I'll find that later. That can go in there. And this. All right. Now, let's get this out of the way. Somebody. alerts um if you're following along or wanting to do this project later i'm, I'm uh, going to be using um some cheapy portfolio oil pastel as well so this is the, the copy of the paper that i made where did i put my other cover hello oh Nope, you're the wrong board, actually. I need this one. 
Okay, so there's a couple things about encaustic wax. Um, we're just using the uh, pure uh, beeswax pellets. So those are fine. They're, um, you don't want to burn it. If you burn any kind of wax, it's very to it's toxic, so watch your lungs. Um, but for this process, you want your um, iron on low. Um, but if you're using any other kind of encaustic blocks, which I'm assuming if you have some, you probably already know not to, um, you know, take safety measures when working with wax. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when I, I do, since I have room now, I will be pulling out uh, my griddle that I have for my encaustic. Um, for now, we're going to be encasing this paper and making it, uh, making our own vellum. And you, ooh, that's too many right now to start off with. Um, if you're doing this process, um, you really just need a few to start out with. I just kind of sprinkle them around. You want, like I said, you want your iron on a low setting. So remember how opaque this paper is because it's going about to be not so opaque anymore. Um, right. And I have my, again, I have my iron on a low, low, low setting. This is my craft iron. It's not, you don't want to use one that you're using for your clothes unless you take all the, um, the wax off, off of it before you, you go to use it again. And you're just moving around, melting the wax. And I just put the wax paper down to kind of help catch the pellets. And it's basically just like ironing clothes. The only thing is, is you know, when you first put your iron on top of the pellets, you know, you're not going to have that flat surface. So just uh, take, take your time if you're not used to it. There you go. And then you can, um, once it starts, once you kind of melted all the pellets, then you can start moving the wax around. Um, to get the whole paper saturated. And this is going to make this turn into vellum. It's going to be very transparent. Or I should say faux vellum. Um, but it's not going to be so transparent that, you know, I, I think vellum is probably a little bit more transparent, but that's okay. Yeah, this collage is just as pretty. Oh, I didn't do too bad. Toot my own horn just a little bit. Just a little bit. your wax paper just warm it and it'll peel right up oh 
glad, I'm glad, Linda. I'm, I, you know, Classic's been around for ages, and there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube. Um, and uh, so, I, you know, I did, it's not like this is something I thought of. Um, the, the, you know, as far as the, in, you know, caustic on paper and that, but, um, the, the style of the card is, is my, is my design, but the, you know, obviously, cause I'm using my own papers and whatever, but, um, yeah, caustic uh, and caustic has been around for like ever, um. See, the, the encaustic pellets are a little on the pricey side, but um, you see how very little I used. Um, and this, this bag, I've used it I don't know how many times, um, and I still have that much. It's a one-pound bag, and I've used it so many times I can't even count. Um, so, yeah. Oops. Dropping a couple pellets usually isn't good, but... That's wasteful, but, you know. Okay. And then I'm going to smooth out this side one more time because this is, this is the front side. So I want to make sure, you want to make sure that your wax is fully um, dissolved into the paper. Um, so you have a nice even coat to your project. Okay. There we go. And now you can almost pretty much see my hand through it. And there's your vellum, people. There's your vellum. Turn my iron off because now I'm going to plug in my sewing machine. I'm going to work on a little bit on the cart again. Um, this one. And like I said, I'll plan a couple projects. I'll pull out my griddle and we'll do. Um, some regular encaustic, uh, more traditional, I should say, encaustic. Okay. Now, let me fix these two spots. Sorry if my big head's in the way. And then all you need to do is pick a, uh, a cutter or if I had more die cutting shapes, I would have die cut uh, this paper, but I, I still don't have a lot of die cuts yet. So um, I'm resorting to Old Faithful here. Thank you guys. Um, that's how 
how we're going to get we um use the sewing machine is what give, you know gets you that quilting type look right because it's supposed to be a quilt card so we are we are pulling out all the stops today What the? Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, let's see if I can. I was trying to put it in there wrong. Why isn't this not going in the. Oh, there we go. Jesus. Okay. Good. I didn't ruin it. that this can get set over here now I'll put that away later I'll put my glasses on She did, Debs, yes, and I confirmed. Um, and I think I might do um, a, 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 a similar type project that I'm doing today. Um, so, I mean, I might have everything already prepared um, and then just talk about it throughout, you know, because we only get like, we get two hours, right? So some stuff I might have, you know, pre-done, like the painting of the, and the, the, you know, cutting out the, whatever images I choose or whatever. Um, bye, Andrea. Love and hugs, hon. Okay. Now, oh, shoot. Why did I do that? I've got to plug, uh, before I do the sewing machine, I got I still need my iron. <laughs> I forgot. Luckily, I love my studio space now, and I can just throw in the plugs, but I do love my space. Okay, so now I need something to make sure this doesn't get dirty again. Where's my wax paper? Let's just use this one. Okay. There's nothing on it. I have another base I can pull out if it gets dirty. So then what I do, okay. And I try, for this purpose, I'm, I'm specifically looking kind of like for one side and I'll tell you why. Because I want to, um, I need to use a portion of it on the inside of the card to cover up the sewing that's going to be there. So I'm I'm deciding on a side shoes or uh, you know whatever I whatever's left over is going to get put on the middle. Oh, that's nice right there. I think kind of like that one. Let's see how turn it and twist it. I kind of like that brown though too there. I 
think. Now, oh, yes, it is this side. Okay, this is actually good. This is fine. I like that. And then, and then, yeah, that'll stand out against. All right, so it already has that little bit of wax on this side. So I'm going to do a couple things. Number one, so I'm going to try to straighten out this card again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, whatever you guys uh, want, would like to would want me to do, um, I can bring can bring out. I got, I got small bags too, so yeah, I can definitely do a bag. Um, you know, and maybe bag with some Lindy's and some paste and or not paste. Um, yeah, just some collage and make it simple. Um, if that's what you guys want to see. I'll let you guys pick the project. So either a card or a bag um, or a journal page um, maybe I'll do a poll on my channel and have you guys all pipe in um, that's what I'm gonna do you guys are gonna choose my New Year's pro New Year's project okay so what I'm gonna do is vellum uh, a true vellum doesn't like to stick right this stuff isn't much better so um, I am going to just put a little bit of this around the edges and then in a couple spots here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to get it because the glue will, uh, will go translucent, right? And I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this, get it down there. And then we're going to heat up that wax that's on the bottom. It's going to help make the pa this paper um, adhere to the card base. How about that for some fanciness? Because you can actually uh, encase tea bag paper and lightweight papers and tissue papers and all kinds of stuff in regular uh, pieces of encaustic art. People uh, in, in case paper all the time. And like I said, I gotta, I gotta see where I, can, where I put my two pieces because I do, I have two pieces, not very big, um, but yeah, okay. And I'll also help that glue that I put there heat and dry. And I want to make sure, you want to make sure that you work out any of your air bubbles because it, it'll help with sewing. So get as flat as you can. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I'll leave that. We'll let this cool a second so that I can cut it down and make sure that I have it good to go. So yeah, I got these, um, mine, I get off of Amazon. Um, r &F is a really good uh, encaustic uh, medium company, but they, like I said, theirs are pricey. So if you don't want, you know, the pricey stuff, there's other vendors there on Amazon that carry it. And then you have that uh, matte, you know, uh, wax-like, uh, uh, vellum-like paper. And then we're just going to go like this. I'm going to cut down around the edges, making sure I, I leave the other side for or portions uh, to cover up the sewing on the inside of the card. Because when you're sewing, whether you're doing fabric or paper or whatever, whatever you do on the outside shows on the inside and vice versa. So 
when you are doing projects, you're going to want to make sure that you plan accordingly, as I did with this one, to have it. Because um, here's the prototype. See, I took a piece of it um, and encased the, the uh, back portion of that uh, stitching. Um, and I think that, kind, that makes the card look really cute. Um, like I said, this one ripped in, um, in the sewing portion of it, but, uh, yeah. So, okay, I like that. Can I make sure that we're, we're here? And let me take off my glasses. I need to make sure we have some nice straight edges. And when you do it on the card, you can lightly see a little bit of wax coming through on the card base. I'm not concerned about that. Um, number one, it's going to be when you put the other piece on, when I go to uh, encase it over the, the, the sewing, um, it'll cover all that. So don't worry if your card has, you know. And we've got a little bit on this side too, but it'll be fine. It's a handmade card. And it gives more to the, you know, the authenticness of it being um, encaustic and vintage. In my my eyes, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the only one thinks that, but yes. Okay, now I gotta decide. We're done with with that for a moment. Oh, I did forget a step. Okay, no. We were supposed. To, uh, I wanted to put some more um, coloring. This is what I did with the last one, and I kind of liked it. So let me just quickly put a little bit of... of this uh, oil pastel. There we go. Actually, doing it after the fact. Because before, yeah, this one's... Because these are water-soluble, so... I, I'm not going to waste my uh, my good oil pastels, my Sennelier, for 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 this. Um, if I was doing a, a big piece, yeah, but for a card, um, I, I'm going to be using Prima or my portfolios. These are actually the best because um, they're the least expensive, um, but still gives you that vintage. Um, yeah, see, oh, I love that. Yeah, I really should have put something in between the card, but that's okay. That one will get covered. Yeah. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. All right. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so yeah, so now we have our vintage paper adhered to our card. I mean, if, they, if, they, if somebody wants it, they're actually going to have to peel it off of there because um, I let it hard cut. Straighten this out again. Once I'm done with this card today, it'll sit under paper.